Hi, this is Sherry Patton Ceramics, and today we are making funny feet. There's many different ways to uh, make unusual feet. Uh, this project is actually in honor of a friend of mine who is no longer with us, who made some of the most creative creatures, whimsical creatures that I've ever seen, and just an amazing way she had with, with feet. I mean, this one looks kind of like a, a human foot with the toes. Um, there's so many different implements that you can that you can use to make it really interesting. These ones, the holes actually go through the foot. Uh, this this is made from the back of a large marker, just pushed in. Um, this is also an interesting uh, part to use. So the back of some of these of these markers you can use on the ends right here. Um, this one right here is actually from the end of a pen. So you can go, you know, make the holes like this. Uh, you could also use the tip to make a different size hole. Uh, you can start with one thing, like for example, with the end of this marker, you know, making a hole in here and then use the tip of another thing like a pencil to make another mark in the inside. So there's just lots of different ways. You know, you can make them kind of pointed. Lots of different things that you can do. Uh, also, if you make one that's large, you do need to make a hole that goes through uh, the foot. So you can see how I've done that. This one I'm not going to, uh, I'm gonna actually just recycle this clay because this one, the marks were made with a paper clip and so the glaze doesn't like to go in those small holes. So a better idea is actually to get a dull pencil like this, you know, and make the little marks with that. And that's large enough and it's from thinner to thicker, thinner to thicker, that the glaze will go in inside those holes. So that's a better choice. All right. So here we begin. All you're going to do is get a piece of clay, roll it in your hands to make kind of a column or a cylinder. Make sure if you have any wrinkles that you uh, smooth them. And then what you're going to do is for making all kinds of feet, you're just going to bend it part way through. And then you're going to smooth. Now it's got a wrinkle right here. You're going to have to smooth that over where that wrinkle is, because if you don't, then it's going to become a weak spot. Also any cracks need to be fixed. Otherwise they will become larger as you move the clay around, as you manipulate it. Now this shape right here will not make anything stand. You know, we have heels in the back of our shoes so that we can stand up straight. So what you need to do is make this a 90 degree angle right here. So what you do is you bounce it on your desk or workspace, turn it the other way, bounce it again. Look at it. There's a nice pretty much 90 degree angle there. So I now have a little more of that um, that bent space right there. So I'm just smoothing that out again. And now I have to decide how flat I want this foot. With our toes, they don't stick up like this. They'll be a little more flat and I want a broader foot so I can have some fun with it. So I'm gonna take my palm and I'm going to just push down that front part. So now it looks kind of like a boot. So now you know the beginnings to making a boot, right? So what you're gonna do now is you're going to take a paper clip and you're going to cut as many toes as you want. For my example with the students, I use two. Now you're going to clean between the toes. You're going to actually put your finger there and bend it down between the toes. And that really makes it look much more realistic. 
Also make sure to cut deeply enough for these kind of these kinds of toes. It makes it a lot easier to get it in there, get your fingers in there to bend them. And it also makes them, uh, if you can get to the end here, less likely to crack at the end. Looks much more realistic. So now you're going to decide on what shape you want the toes. I'm going to round these a bit. But you could also leave them like this or press the middle ones to make it pointed. So this one, I'm just going to make a little more rounded. So I'm just pushing it a little bit, pushing this one a little bit. And I'm going to spread those out a little bit more so that when I flatten them, I have some more room. So we've got the basic shape here. So now I'm going to press. So I'm just going to take it with my fingers and press, press in the middle, press on the other side. I can split them more if I want. I can also press this area to make it thinner on this area of the foot. It tends to look a lot better. And now I'm just going to use something like what I was showing you. This is kind of neat because this one is an oval shape. So you can even get oval shapes at the back um, of pencils, also an oval shape right here and then a round shape here. Why not try that for today? So I'm going to go with the one side and press it in. What I love about this uh, eraser is this end is nice and fat. So the glaze is going to not have any problem going into that hole. And then I can take the other end and just push it in the middle. And there we are. And then at that point I can take, um, well, a paper clip works well for starting out to see what things look like because they can easily be taken away, right? But what you want to use is either a scraffito tool, which is the best after that, because then that glaze loves to go right inside those lines, or you can use a dull pencil. So I can make lines like this and just pull that extra clay out as I make my design and just pull it out with my finger too. And so that's your basic funny foot. Thank you.